Actually, let's take a look at Cactus Jack real quick. Um, Steel type. Uh, we do have we have mirror shot, a tatamize, uh, metal sound and sand attack. E. Uh, we do have mirror shot, so that's just kind of busted already. But yeah. Look at our team. God, this game is lagging a lot for no reason. Like, I don't even think there's any fogs or parallel processes. Well, there's probably some parallel processes going on in this map, but still. Okay, so... So, there's Cacnea, there's... Yeah, so, there, there's no other... Definitely. Okay, well... Hello there. The Rosewood Generator attracts all kinds of electric-type Pokemon. It's perfect when training my Geodude. Well, guess what? Your Geodude's also weak against my Wooper. My rolling pin, if you will. Catch the sand tomb, bro. How much PP does the sand tomb have? It's 50 dog. Fucking such such a bad move. It's so bad. Okay, odds we can take this thing out with a pound. Roll out? That was a crit. Goodbye. Oh, the crit got hit. Swiper's level 13, Owl's level 10, wants to learn quick attack. Okay. Oh, I didn't even check this thing's moveset. Um, get rid of baby dolls. Sand true. Okay, let's go into my Kempsey Hunt. Yeah, so I can already tell this game's gonna take me probably like a good, a good few streams to finish this game. Especially if I only can stream for two hours every night, like max. Scary face? Nah. I should, probably should have caught it. Proposed ten. Fuck. Talent gone. Oh shit. Oh, 05, could you come help me? These Magnemite are messing with the generator, which is why we have no power in the Rosewood Gym. Help me take care of these Magnemite, would ya? Sup, bruh. Sup. Oh, it's a double battle. And they're level 15. Cool, okay, so we're gonna sand tomb that one, and we're gonna switch into Swiper, I guess. Unless Croco Club. Does Croco Club have a fighting type move? Nope! That would be a no. Let's go into Swiper. Thundershock into Swipe. Jesus! And Light Screen, of course. So, Sand Tune. Uh, well, it still does a good amount of damage. Okay, so we're gonna Sand Tune the other Magnemite now, and then we are going to. I hope Quick Attack takes this thing out. I don't know why I expected it to, but... Don't go Swiper. <laughs> Goodbye. And we missed Sand too. Of course. Does that kill Magnemite? No, it doesn't. Okay. Uh, wait, we have a Fire-type move. Why, why am I not thinking of that? Surely we... Yeah, we have Ember. Why am I... Not bringing in this... Let's sand tune that and then ember that. We can survive one Thundershock, right? And yeah, okay. And you go. Is level 12. I was level 11. Sand tune. Good damage, good damage. Alright. Light screen again. Come on, bro. That doesn't mean kill. Well, sand tune. Goodbye, Magnemite. Nice knowing you. I was level 12. Wants to learn Confuse Ray. Okay, we'll get rid of Tail Whoop for that. Cactus Jack is level 15. Cool, cool. Love it. Cool. 
Thank you for helping out, O5. Those Magnemite can be a real hassle. Here, let me patch up your Pokemon. Oh, nice. Cool. There we go. All set. Thanks again for helping me with the Magnemite. We would have been in real trouble if more showed up. Oh? Oh, shit. It's a Magneton. It's a Magneton. It's probably mad that we were fighting with the Magnemite. This could be dangerous. I'll handle it. You should head for the exit, 05. No. Oh, what? Oh, shit! It's the Cacturn! It's the regional Cacturn! Bro, look at this thing. Level 18, too. Full of punch, we can survive that. That's sick. I know I'm so excited to get one. Okay, love the Rotom theme being used as well. It's so tense. It is very tense. Okay, um. I guess we'll just. Actually, I want to survive, so I'm gonna go into. We'll sack Coca Cola, unfortunately. I want to survive. Bullet punch, okay. You can get mud slap, actually. Or we can just die first. Okay. Let's go to Owl. Hopefully, do some damage with Ember here. Look at us, we persist that. Oh god, Ember is doing absolutely nothing. Can I, like, confuse Ray you? There we go. Uses Autotomize, okay. Dude, look at how much- Oh, we got the burn, let's go! You're doing no damage to it. Uh, we missed the Ember though, rip. I love hacks. Do you guys love hacks? I really love hacks. It's literally on like one HP. Please just hit yourself. There we go. That's what I like to see. Look at this experience. Level 13. Do we get to level 14 as well? You bet we do. Swipers 14. That's it? Oh shit. Okay. What? Why are you still here? I said it could be dangerous. A cacturn appeared? And you defeated it all by yourself? I gotta be honest, I'm kind of impressed. You know what, 05? I want you to have this. It's Parabolic Charge, bro. That's the TM for Parabolic Charge. I use it all the time. I'm really excited for our battle. Meet me at my gym in Rosewood City and show me how you defeated that Cacturn. Now don't get lost trying to get back, alright? I will. I will. Bro, we can't. Her ace is a Heliolisk. Oh, shit. Also, we just have this thing chilling here. Cool. Bro, can I just run? Can I run, please? Adds time. Rip. You know what you could do to not get ads, though? <laughs> I'm not gonna finish it, don't worry. Ah, Kenny with the posture check coming in clutch. <sighs> ah. I'm gonna switch my MC9 up front though, real quick. We can actually run from Pokemon. And we're back, okay. Oh, there you go. Magnemite is not a regional, confirmed. There's not even a hidden item there, so I don't even know what I just did that for. What's up here? A TM! The TM for Sludge, okay. What's up with Totodile? Oh, Totodile has a costume on, actually. You'd like to see Totodile. It has a costume. It's so cute. It's adorable. I love it. So cute. Alright. Let's continue on.
Why are these Cacnea a common and it took me forever to get one? It's kind of annoying. We got a Geodude level 16. Okay. I feel like we're slightly under leveled, but also like we're doing fine. Let me guess, I can't run. Oh, I can't sweep. Alright, back on Route 12. And we will do that. Would you like to hear more Elysian music at the end of the stream? Just one track. Sure, but send it my way quickly because the stream's gonna end sooner than you think it is. We'll do a few more trainers in the gym, but I don't think we'll face the gym later tonight. Probably do that whenever I stream next, which will probably be tomorrow, because I don't think I can go anywhere tomorrow. I have a small feeling my friends are going to be like, hey, you want to go out to a bar? I'm like, I would love to, but I can't because I'm taking care of my dog. But yeah. Basically the reason why there's probably going to be a stream tomorrow. Um, But yeah, anyways... Bro, why, why from this angle does Totodile look like fucking Rudolph? Totodile looks like Rudolph in here. Like, looks like he's leading Santa's sleigh. Ah. <sighs> It's a clown. It is a clown. You're right. All right, let's switch rolling pin up front, I guess. Gym time. Then one foggy Christmas Eve, Jirachi came to see. Yep. Yep. Hey there, buddy. This is the Rosewood City Gym. Our gym leader is Felicity. She specializes in electric type Pokemon, so I'd recommend that you have a ground type. Oh, cool, bruh. Complicated machinery, probably for the best if I don't touch it. Okay. Well, let's face some trainers then. Mm, our first challenger, huh? Magnemite, huh? Level 12? Good sand tomb this thing. Look at that damage, bro. Also getting getting through sturdy. Cause, uh, the sand or cause the sand team's effect. Ooh, tail slap! I've been waiting for this move. I knew we were gonna get tail slap after looking at its Pokedex entry. Um, we'll get rid of Mudspark, cause yeah. Alright. Cactus Jack. Also, Totodile is one level from evolving as well. And Cactus Jack is learning Bullet Punch, which is a move that I definitely want. We'll get rid of, I guess, Sand Attack, honestly. Down you go. Okay. Hello there, sir. This would be pretty good if you want. wish to challenge Felicity. Bro, I beat a Cacturn. Apparently, that's a big deal. Intimidate. Haha! <laughs> Joke's on you! My moveset's not good enough to have a physical ground-type move. You know what? It can't be Heliolus because these games only have gens 1 through 3 or 1 through 4? Um, yeah, I guess they only have 1 through 4, yeah. But we have moves through gen 7 or 8. Maybe a regional form? Yeah, maybe. That would be my guess. That would be my guess. Alright, Magnemite. Stay in, I guess. Rolling Pin's literally just gonna solo the gym. Might as well. Okay, down goes the Magnemite. My guess is Luxio. That would actually no no no. We talk. Wait no 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 no. Didn't they talk about Luxio like in dialogue? It's definitely Luxio. It's one hundred percent Luxio. Jolteon's, Jolte, yeah, Jolteon's probably a good shout. Probably not Magneton because the Magneton thing already happened in the cave. What else is here? Hello there. 
I'll be the one to defeat you. Engineer Davis with his Pikachu. Oh, we forgot about this thing. Oh, wow, she's right there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Watch it be a Raichu. Yeah, I was thinking about that. I'm pretty sure it's a Luxio, though. I feel like Luxio fits. I feel like Luxio fits the most. Also, shout out to the real quick switch into MyCamp C9 to make sure we get to level 18 at the end of this battle so we can evolve and have a Croconaw for this fight. Oh, wait, no, we are a far ways away. Whatever. Croconaw. Maybe we get enough experience. Wormington's level 16. Oh, we do get to level 18. Nice. Okay. Cactus Jack's level 17, Swiper's 15. Oh, we need to train Swiper. Oh, finally! A stab move, and it's only Pursuit. Kraka, nah. Mm. 13, level 15, let's learn Fire Spin. I mean, no. No, thank you. Well, are you ready to see what outfit what outfit Croconaw? Jesus, what is that Weasel move set? I know, it's so bad, dude. Let's take a look at this thing. <laughs> look at it. It's so cute. Got a Croconaw? Nice. Okay, well, as I said, I don't think we're going to face Felicity tonight. Um, as much as I would love to continue streaming, I actually do want to continue streaming. I think it's best for me to probably end the stream right here. Uh, let's actually buy some Pokemon items before I forget uh, for the next stream. We'll probably need some more potions for uh, Felicity. Just a guess. Uh, we can't even buy super potions yet. Never mind. Um, let's buy five potions, I guess. Um, let's buy ten Pokeballs as well so we can get. The premier ball, dude. Yeah, I guess that's it. Maybe we can buy two paralyzed seals just to be ready for that. Yeah, I'm already there. It looks. We're on the same wavelength. We're on the same wavelength. Um. Oh, the one thing I did want to check, I guess, is that we can look at. Oh, look at this. Okay, wait. We can teach Sludge to Rolling Pin? Okay. Um, we'll get rid of Tail Whip for that. My stream is delayed, okay? Oh, that's, it, that's, that's Twitch for you. Um, where are the TMs? Parabolic Charge? Wait. User attacks everything around it. The user's HP is restored by half the... Wait. What? Why well, I think Parabolic Charge was a static move? Oh, well, I, I guess nobody can learn it anyway, so it doesn't even matter. Who can learn Sludge other than Crowbunk? Because I'm definitely... Bro. Half of our team can learn Sludge? You already know that half of our team is getting Sludge then. <laughs> Parabolic Charge is exclusive to Heliolisk, is it not? Well, not in this game, because Helio Heliolisk does not exist in this game. When our best move is Larry. Sludge. <laughs> On Swiper. Dude, what level does Weasel evolve at? Isn't it like 20-ish? I feel like it's 20-ish. Um, this might be weird, but I'm gonna keep Roar. Because, like, we're not even gonna probably end up using this thing, but... Yeah, anyways... I think we are going to end the stream. 26? Oh, I thought it was like 20. God damn it. I feel like that's really late. I mean, we'll definitely get there, but yeah. Anyways, that is that. I mean, take a look at our team. Which I'm really excited for. Have you, were you in the last, last Wish 2 stream? Uh, maybe, I'm not sure. 
Pokemon armor. Okay. First up, we have Rolling Pin. The best nickname for this uh, Peskin Whooper holding the soft sand with Pound Sludge. Tail Slap and Sand Tomb. Because it looks like a fucking Rolling Pin. <laughs> so funny. Also, Webcam? Okay, we're good. Gotta love Rolling Pin, indeed. Next up, we have Mike MC9, our crocodile holding the leftovers with its little costume on. It's got Scratch, Leer, Water Gun, and Bite. Uh, next up, we have Cactus Jack, our level 17 Peskin Cacnea, with Mirror Shot, a Tatamize, Metal Sound, and Bullet Punch. Next up, we have Swiper, our level 15 Peskin Weasel. Holding the Soothe Bell with Sludge, Pursuit, Fury Swipes, and Quick Attack. We have Croca-Cola, our level 13 Krogunk, with Astonish, Mud Slap, Sludge, and Taunt. And then we have Owl, our level 15 Vulpix, with Ember, Confuse Ray, Roar, and Quick Attack. So yeah, that's what we're rolling. I believe, I believe we have to take on the gym. We did everything except take on the gym leader. Um, and if I remember, the gym leader is an electric type trainer. If I remember correctly. That's why we're leading off with rolling pin here. Hopefully we can uh, do that. Let's go ahead, save the game. And uh, hello there. There you are, 05. Thanks again for helping me get that generator back online. Is the audio too loud or too quiet, by the way? Uh, let me know in chat. Uh, it's definitely nicer here with the lights turned off. Are you ready to face your first big challenge as a Pokemon trainer? I know I sure am ready for my first ever battle as a gym leader. Let's see how good you really are. Oh shit. Pretty dang perfect. Sweet. I'm good with that. Gym leader Felicity. With the Luxio to start off with. Interesting, I thought Luxio was actually going to be her ace. Get the... Uh, we get the Intimidate, but guess what? That doesn't matter because we only have Sand Tomb. Which sucks. Look at that damage. Look at that crazy good damage right there. Also, also, this is in fact a jam. This is certainly a jam as well. Gotta love the Heart Gold Soul Silver Kanto Gym Leader theme. It's so underrated. It is so good. God, th this theme is actually so good. Potion, rude. And we miss. Cool. Also consider this damage that we're doing to Luxio. This is boosted by soft sand. <laughs> okay, so I was gonna say you either heal or you attack. But I guess you didn't either. So I'm okay with that. So down goes the Luxio. Took a while, but we got it. Level 17 here on Rolling Pin. Coca-Cola is level 14. And Electric is going to be the next one in. Okay. Um, let's go into Swiper, I guess? Weren't you intimidated, though? But Sand Tomb is special. Right? I think Sand Tomb is special. Right, Fury Swipes. And we miss. These don't do that much. Oh my god, that does a lot of damage. Okay. Um, Cactus Jack time. Nope, physical? Really? Okay, I swear it was special. We eat this, right? Jesus, why is it doing so much damage? Oh my god, I forget that this resists it. Okay, well. I Hopefully we can survive another one because... 
Uh, we're kind of fucked. We need rolling pin here. Please survive. Good. Um, what are we looking at right now? Rolling. Okay. Well, I guess we can go into rolling pin. Probably can't really touch us too much here. It's going for howl. Interesting. Oh damn, that's doing a lot of damage. Wait. Not bad actually. Tail slap should hopefully take care of this thing as well. Please? Good. It got me nervous for a second. Alright, Cactus Jack is level 18. Swiper's level 16, which is good. Owl is 16. Okay. The final Pokemon is Jolteon. Huh. And it has an air balloon. Interesting. Well, we'll have to take care of that air balloon real quick. Look at this immense damage we're doing to it. Okay, Sand Tomb then. Luckily, this gym is actually just pretty easy if you have a rock type. It doesn't seem like there's too much going on otherwise. Just kind of soloed the entire gym with rolling pin here. <laughs> Which is nice. Because we don't, don't really have any other Pokemon that are good against electric type. Mud Bomb. Finally a good move. Eh? Indeed. Um. Geez, why do all of our moves have like zero accuracy? We will have like three moves that have 85 accuracy because I'm getting rid of Pound. And my MC9 is level 19, Swiper is level 17, Coca Cola is 15. Wants to learn Pursuit. Don't you love Coca Cola's moveset? It's just like so. It's such a wide moveset, but there's not a single move that has power over like 30. My first battle ends in defeat. I guess it's fair to say you're a great trainer. Since you won over me, I'll have to give you this. The Rosewood Stamp. There we go. It's actually supposed to be a badge, but we don't have those yet. That stamp should do fine, though. I also want to give you this, as a special gift for being my first challenger. HM for Stomp. Interesting. That's a hidden move called Stomp. You can teach that to a Pokemon in order to stomp on weeds that might be in your way while traveling through routes. Good luck in your, on your adventure, 05. Okay, so I see what we're doing with the HMs. We're actually making them like worthwhile moves, which is really cool. <laughs> really cool. Um, I am not a fan of having to have Cut on my team, so yeah. Stomp is much better. And nobody can learn it. Nobody can learn it. <laughs> Oh shit. Whoa, you beat Felicity's gym! Wait, remember how I gave you that outfit kit for your Pokemon? Well, I was thinking for a bit, and I really think you need to change your style as well. That's why I'm giving you this. Oh, we have a sunny outfit? An outfit to be warm. This outfit is a nice combination of red and pink. Put that on and you'll look great. I'll catch you later. Is that for, like, us or for, like, Croconaut? Wait, is it for being, for, for making you warm, or for being cool while it's warm? I'm not sure. I have no idea. I assume it's the latter, given the name. Also, I just remembered that we named our rival Morbius. Um, ah, 05, I see you've beaten Felicity's gym. Perfect. No way, you already beat her? I'm already falling behind. Morbius here just filled me in on what happened in Route 8. You remember right, 05, with the scary lady? That lady you two saw, she was looking for me, wasn't she? Didn't she mention anything about a Deoxys or Jirachi? She just asked if we knew where you were. Why, do you know her? 
You see, three years ago, an unknown lady attacked Anakiwa City when Jirachi awakened. She was said to have owned a Deoxys, and her appearance seemed unnatural. Luckily, she was stopped, and because of that, we were still able to gather uh, data from Jirachi. With the help of Felicity, we were able to create this device. Oh? A form device? What? It changes the form of specific Pokemon. Professor Plum made this prototype based on Jirachi. It's a device capable of manipulating some Pokemon's forms. Jirachi's Awakening gave me the idea to make it. And it's also possibly what this lady is after. <laughs> if she's after that device, do you think it's safe to even be walking around with the plants for it? You're absolutely right. It's not safe at all. If she would get her hands on it and reawaken Jirachi, or even use it on Deoxys perhaps, who knows what could happen? Which is why... Uh, are you sure it's okay to burn the blueprints? I mean, didn't you just give the only prototype to O5 just now? Yes. I think it's much safer for you to have the device, since I'm currently a target. Uh, and don't worry about the blueprints. Everything useful is still inside my head. Well, that makes sense, but are you sure? O5, have you caught up with Professor Apricot lately? I would like you to discuss this further with her. She should be able to help you protect that device. I think I just spotted her in Route 9. She seemed to be doing some studies with her shuckle. I'm headed off back to my research facility down at Merlo City. And strolls away. I'm also going to head off. I want to meet some, some of the Pokemon up north in Route 12. Good luck, 05.